hormonal coordination endocrine glands structure of pituitary gland and its hormones structure of thyroid gland and its hormones endocrine glands the endocrine glands endo within kinin to secrete secrete the chemical substances called as hormones into blood which then transports these to the target tissues located away from the site of secretion these are the ductless glands that is the glands do not possess ducts to carry their secretions they directly discharge their secretions in the blood stream the regulatory role of hormones may be either excitation or inhibition the branch dealing with the study of endocrine glands and their actions of the hormones is called endocrinology important properties of hormones they are secreted by ductless glands they are directly released into the blood stream and reach all parts of the body produced in one organ and show their effect on distant target organ high degree of target specificity produced in response to specific stimulus rate of secretion high or low depends upon nature and intensity of stimulus bound to a specific carrier proteins while being transported in the blood effect of hormones are slow and lasting in contrast to nervous action which is quick and short lived their excess or deficiency may lead to serious consequences the main endocrine glands are pituitary gland and hypothalamus pineal gland thyroid gland parathyroid glands thymus gland adrenal gland that is the suprarenal gland islets of langerhans in pancreas endocrine cells of gonad that is the testes and the ovary temporary endocrine parts like placenta pituitary gland it is also called as hypophysis cerebri because it is situated below the hypothalamus of brain pituitary gland and hypothalamus act as a unit regulating the activity of most of the other endocrine glands location located on the ventral side of midbrain or hypothalamus behind the optic chiasma it is protected in the depression of sphenoid bone of the skull called cella turcica hypophyseal fossa it is connected with the brain by means of a short thin stalk the infundibulum also called as hypophyseal stalk the pituitary gland is ectodermal and endodermal in origin dual origin and develops from nervous and epithelial tissue morphology pituitary gland is a pinkish pea sized gland about 1.3 cm weighing only 0.5 g composed of two lobes the anterior lobe adenohypophysis and posterior lobe neurohypophysis the pituitary gland anterior lobe that is adenohypophysis is made up of pars tuberalis pars distalis and pars intermedia the posterior lobe or the neurohypophysis is made up of median eminence infundibulum and pars nervosa the anterior lobe adenohypophysis is the largest part of the gland it forms 75% of the region it is endodermal in origin develops as outgrowth called rathkes pouch from the roof of the buccal cavity it is divided into three divisions pars tuberalis tubular region present below the hypothalamus like a collar around the infundibulum pars distalis the largest part which secretes most of the hormones of the pituitary glands that is tsh csh lh pl msh pars intermedia narrow cleft between pars distalis and pars nervosa vestigial or non functional in humans the posterior lobe neurohypophysis is the smaller part and forms 25% of the region it is ectodermal in origin it is attached to the hypothalamus by the infundibulum it grows as an extension of the hypothalamus called neural bud it is divided into three divisions the median eminence which is the swollen median part of the hypothalamus where infundibulum gets attached infundibulum a stalk like structure which helps in attachment of the pituitary gland to the hypothalamus it serves as a passage for the nerve fibers of neurosecretory cells present in the hypothalamus the lowermost larger region of the neurohypophysis and has axons between pituitaries supporting cells histology of anterior lobe of pituitary gland
pars tuberalis it shows alpha cells beta cells and some undifferentiated cells function is not known pars distalis enclosed in collagenous capsule collagen white fibers it consists of secretory epithelial cells and blood capillaries the secretory cells are present in clusters or cords in pars distalis cells are mainly of two types chromophiles and chromophobes chromophiles are divided into acidophiles and basophiles acidophiles are of two types somatotrophs and lactotrophs basophiles are of three types thyrotrophs beta basophiles gonadotrophs delta basophiles and corticotrophs pars intermedia it is not well developed in human beings but larger and functional in lower vertebrates chromophobes colorless small in size not stained by dyes acts as a precursor from which chromophiles develop chromophiles chromo color fill to attract or to love color large size cells showing secretory activity showing affinity for certain stains on the basis of their staining properties they are divided into acidophiles stained by acidic dyes oval with 15 to 20 micrometer diameter acidophiles are further divided into somatotrophs in which cytoplasm shows many small granules and stains with orange they secrete hormone somatotrophin lactotroph polyhedralin shape with few larger granules and stain with azocarmine secrete hormone prolactin leutotrophin basophils they are stained by basic stains irregular in shape 15 to 25 micrometer diameter small sized granules the basophils are further divided into thyrotrophs which are agranular or granular and secrete tsh gonadotrophs secrete gonadotrophins and corticotrophs secrete acth posterior lobe mainly contains axonic knobs and pituitaries along with connective tissue and blood vessels axonic knobs also called as herring's bodies the hypothalamic neurons secrete two hormones adh and oxytocin which are stored in axonic knobs in the neurohypophysis the hormones are released in the blood whenever needed it is therefore neurohemal origin pituitaries they do not secrete any hormone but are similar to the neuroglial cells of the brain these are supportive and nutritive cells hormones of the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland pituitary gland anterior lobe pars distalis the hormone secreted somatotrophic hormone sth or growth hormone acidophils secrete this hormone the chemical nature of the hormone it is a protein effect it stimulates growth by stimulating protein synthesis disorders hypersecretion causes gigantism before puberty and acromegaly in adults hyposecretion causes dwarfism and simmons disease which leads to early sterility degeneration of sex organs dry wrinkled skin and oldness pituitary gland anterior lobe pars distalis hormone secreted thyroid stimulating hormone tsh secreted by basophils and regulated by trf thyroid releasing factor the chemical nature of this hormone it is a glucoprotein it stimulates thyroid secretion hyposecretion leads to thyroid atrophy hypersecretion shows symptoms like increased bmr loss of weight increased heart rate and blood pressure pituitary gland anterior lobe pars distalis the hormone secreted adrenocorticotrophic hormone acth secreted by basophils the chemical nature of this hormone it is a protein effect it regulates the secretion of steroids by adrenal cortex hyposecretion leads to rheumatoid arthritis inflammation of joints and addison's disease adrenal failure hypersecretion leads to excessive growth of adrenal cortex it causes cushing's disease pituitary gland anterior lobe pars distalis the hormone secreted prolactin pl or luteotrophic hormone it is secreted by acidophils and is regulated by prolactin releasing factor prf and pif the prolactin inhibiting factor the chemical nature of this hormone is that it is a protein effect development of mammary glands mammotrophin milk secretion lactogenic hormone maintenance of corpus luteum which secretes progesterone during pregnancy luteotropin reduces chances of pregnancy during lactation period 
pituitary gland anterior lobe pars distalis hormone secreted gonadotrophic hormones gth or gonadotrophins secreted by basophil cells two types of gonadotrophins the follicle stimulating hormone fsh and luteinizing hormone lh the chemical nature of the hormone fsh it is a glucoprotein luteinizing hormone is also a glucoprotein it stimulates gametes production secretion of sex hormones and induces ovulation it stimulates development of corpus luteum and induces secretion of progesterone stimulates leydig cells of testes and induces secretion of testosterone hormones of the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland pituitary gland posterior lobe hormones are stored in the posterior lobe and secreted by hypothalamic neurons the hormone secreted oxytocin birth hormone chemical nature protein effect stimulation of uterine smooth muscle contraction at birth it stimulates myoepithelial cells of mammary glands for milk ejection during breastfeeding it also helps in fertilization by powerful contractions of the uterine musculature to drive sperms towards the fallopian tubes the second hormone secreted by the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland is the antidiuretic hormone or the adh or vasopressin the chemical nature of the hormone is that it is a protein effect it stimulates the nephrons for assimilation of water also increases blood pressure by constriction of arterioles in the kidney which facilitates ultrafiltration so called vasopressin deficiency causes overproduction of urine leading to diabetes insipidus that is loss of large quantity of water through urine polyuria or diuresis results in polydipsia increased thirst hypersecretion causes antidiuresis or less urine formation and stimulates water retention in body fluids thyroid gland origin the thyroid gland originates from the endoderm of the embryo location surrounds the front of the larynx and upper part of trachea in the neck structure it is the largest endocrine gland bilobed highly vascular organ composed of two lobes right and left two lobes are joined by connective tissue called isthmus reddish brown in color h shaped having butterfly like appearance the structural and functional units of thyroid gland are thyroid follicles the thyroid gland is composed of round follicles held together by loose connective tissue the stroma and enclosed by a thin fibroelastic capsule the stroma contains blood capillaries and small groups of parafollicular cell or c cells clear cells these secrete hormone thyrocalcitonin The thyroid follicles are composed of a wall of cuboidal epithelium resting on a basement membrane and is filled with dense amorphous semisolid substance called colloid which is a thyroglobulin a precursor of thyroid hormone thyroxin the follicular cells change their shape according to the state of secretory activity and become squamous during hypoactivity and columnar during hyperactivity hormones of the thyroid gland Thyroid gland synthesizes, stores and discharges the thyroid hormones which are thyroxin T4 also called as tetraiodothyronine and triiodothyronine T3 thyrocalcitonin Thyroid gland secretes thyroxin which is a glycoprotein the effect of this hormone is it maintains the basal metabolic rate BMR controls normal protein synthesis body weight temperature heart rate blood pressure digestion physical growth development of gonads controls metamorphosis in amphibians disorders hyposecretion produces cretinism in children and myxedema gall's disease in adults hypersecretion results in exophthalmic goiter graves disease characterized by bulging of eyeballs thyrocalcitonin is a peptide hormone secreted by parafollicular cells it is protein in nature it regulates blood calcium level this hormone stimulates bones to take up calcium from the blood for deposition of calcium phosphates in the bones thereby decreasing blood calcium level secretion of thyrocalcitonin is regulated by feedback mechanism depending on level of calcium in the blood increased calcium level of blood stimulates c cells to secrete thyrocalcitonin and vice versa disorders hypocalcemia 
it is the condition when the blood calcium level drops significantly due to hypersecretion of thyrocalcitonin hypercalcemia it is the condition when the blood calcium level rises significantly due to hyposecretion of thyrocalcitonin which further leads to decalcification of bones